What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to kind of round off up on last time, I got um, had to fight a massively bloody battle against the Prussian Empire. Um, however, I think I managed to sort of come out ahead by managing to destroy um, a significant portion of their forces in the West, meaning that all of these forces, well the majority of them, from these last few parts have have resulted in most massively depleted forces. Um, one thing I'm going to be cognizant of is that um, so while this is a world domination cam, well, while this is a long campaign, I'd like to make it a world domination campaign. So that being the case, I need to also start thinking more about India. So I don't want to rely on just this settlement recruiting um, recruiting armies to to land because I'm going to have to land a significant portion. Um, at once um, on the Indian subcontinent. So what I'm going to do is make that a priority for these forces back here in America. So to create, I think I want to create a field marshal of America. No, not field marshal of him. Yeah, field marshal of America, and he's going to go westwards. And then I'm going to recruit some generals, bodyguards. So I'm literally thinking. Ooh, Pennsylvania. Oh, I forget. Pennsylvania's population has been absolutely uh, hammered. Because I've been doing all my recruitment there. So, yes, Gaylord Darrell. Alright, let's get some recruitment on the go for you. Let's get two units of household cavalry. You will have... Baratarian pirates. What on earth? Earth, do you do fixed artillery? I'll well, see. Fixed artillery isn't so good. Guards, first Delaware. Do I not have? Well, re-recruit the first Delaware. American infantry. Oh, he's the mercenaries again. Some good stuff, regardless. Fourth Continental Light Dragoons. Not just yet. Okay, so you're gonna get them. You're gonna get some. Four units of guards, it's gonna be a fairly elite force. Then let's get some skirmishers. Let's get some provincial scouts, they're much more American y. And then let's get. So I've got all the artillery I need, and then let's get. That might be everything. Okay, let's knock one of you on the head. And then recruit a regular unit of wine. Cool. That's one force recruited. And then let's use this army to recruit. Let's use Boston to recruit some forces. Because I have really bled the Americas dry in terms of manpower. Um, come down here. Oh yeah, a piece of Spain, I forgot about that. Um, but aren't they? Yes, they are laying me siege down, laying siege to me down here, and I am at war with the Ottomans, so... Yeah, they're fortifying, they're recruiting some militia. And then... I think... I think the court, the fort, the uh, right, pro, right choice of, right um, course of action is to attack. Uh, this force is laying siege to me. What I'd also like to do is, once I build up forces down here, is to maybe in Spain? Yes, yeah, Spain has a very healthy population. Start funneling force into Damascus and Palestine, push east, and then try and start hitting the Indias from the Middle East at the same time. But that does mean I need to keep, need to spend more time keeping an eye on um, my recruitment status. Are you going to join them? You are. Excellent. Let's get you into port. I'll have them land and capture um, Palestine. Yes. Well, Jerusalem, anyway. That part of the world. Oh, laggy. Right, so let's get. Oh, yeah, that's all already fully, fully recruiting. Okay, let's get you out. Get you out. Let's take this chap. Recruit General Simon Bester. You're going to enter the fray down 
towards here, where there are numerous weak forces that need replenishment. Um, you are, need to recruit some artillery, so let's go for a... No, too much. And then let's get two units of that. And then let's get some... Four units of garrison guards. Let's do that. Uh, ooh, horse guard artillery. Useful. Oh, there's a force down here that does not have artillery. There we go. Let's send you down to match up with them. Cool. Oh, forgot about... Oh, so... Oh, really laggy, 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 laggy. Okay. So let's take this army. Scout them south. Have them laid siege to Berlin. Let's threaten the home of the German Empire. And then this fleet back here, it's all firsts. Versus sort of a ragtag mix. Let's get Ernest Miles, let's have him um, pirating in a similar sort of area. The idea being that if they do try to break out, if they do try to break out through the Baltic, then both of these fleets will join them in the, in the fight. Okay, so they're all, oh, they're not all back to good, back to normal. Let's replenish. Right, and um, what's going on in my London armies? Ah, oh, this is an army that's going to bust through Europe. I remember this one now. Okay, so let's recruit six more units of line. Good. This army... Hmm. I can't remember what my... I wish I could move them around. I can't remember what my strategy for you was. But you could still do with another artillery... Let's get some marines in. Oh, let's get some regular guards, actually, for your elites. It's got four guards for elites, then I just need five units of line of some description. Cool. And they're just going to come here and replenish, because these are the remnants from uh, Amsterdam that had to fall back. Where's my shipyard naval hospital? Not ideal, it means I can't get... Um, it means I can't get steamships, but I'll survive. And then let's start keeping on with my recruiting, because I want to um, comprehensively block off the Baltic, stop the Prussian fleet from breaking out, Prussian fleet from breaking out, including this army, importantly this army actually. Prussian Fusiliers, and they've got some regular militia, sharpshooters, okay. Oh god, that's a very... Oh, can you imagine assaulting that with all those elites waiting up there just to beat the hell out of you? Okay, so I think the first fight is going to be fighting against the Ottomans down here. Because right now I'm weak, and they, well, they don't have a reason to attack me. Um, so I need to attack them. Let's fight. Let's add, make my cavalry into the fray first. Because I assume I would like rapid reinforcement. To position forces to drop into Russia. Um, go in th south through Texas. Maybe land across, capture Crimea, capture, capture Crimea to help cut off an element of their trade. Also be cognizant of those Ottoman stacks coming down through Greece that are just going to come and hit um, Athens. Unless they really generously keep raiding my countryside. Okay, so I don't know what side they're going to deploy on. What it's tempting to do is to use that. So let's get two units of cannons out here. Face them out. Two, one unit of cannon out here, face them out. So 
So do I have any? I do have some weak units. Let's place them up here. A, it'll help cover me, and B, it'll also provide more artillery. So let's group them together. And let's get my provincial scouts up here as well, because they're frankly not super useful. But they will man guns. That's the important thing. Do that, do that, do that. Two units of art have two units of my infantry. Okay, let's start staggering these infantry units out in pairs. Ultimately I will need to reform my line in one form or another. Um, but I can do that after the fact. Let's keep my artillery. Can I hide them in here? Sort of. And my general with my cavalry. So I was okay. I, I am aware that I am going to be attacking them, but... They are within range of quick lime. Oh, look at that. 24 pound house unit. You can attack the organ gun, though. Okay, now let's redeploy you in this direction. Oh, God. That's right, everyone. Man those cannons. Shrapnel shot. Blast those Janissaries. Same with you. Shrapnel shot. Blast those Janissaries. Great. Nice one. Dragoons, just shot the hell out of your own guys. Okay, light Dragoons, you run out. And then ping them. Right, everyone, form line. You need to engage. You redeploy, quick line. Spin them out. Trying to head me off, but it's not going to work. Let's see if my this, these cavalry can chew up the unit of Janissaries themselves. And you go after the organ gun. Nope, don't just let them rout. Kill them. Good. Open fire on those Union of Daddy Horsemen. Ignore the cavalry. Attack the unit janissaries.
my guys the hell out of there. A limber. Chemist shot on the janissaries. Actually, spin all my howitzers around, start targeting those janissaries. No, keep on that unit. Oh god, before my... Both of them feel free to fire on that unit. No, fire, fire on that unit of Janissaries. Treat, hit them with my dragoons. There we go. Fire and artillery because it's not really needed. Oh, hitting my own cavalry. God damn it. I only lost. No, I only lost eight. Can handle that. To be honest, halt fire with everything else. Halt. Seminis, not really bothered. Eh, better than nothing. Get ready to hit this unit of Janus as they retreat too. I think that's everyone. I'm fairly sure that's everyone. Yes, let's continue. There we go, then let's just harvest up these giant trees. Because this unit will, this army will flee. So I may as well do some chopping. an eye on make sure everyone's busy because only three of you left Right at him. Good. They're down. Now it's just excellent. Good. Solid push into the Middle East. Um, pour some Western troops in then into the mix to keep them. Well, just to keep the quality up because the Middle East and well the African line units in this game aren't aren't terribly brilliant. Build you. Let's do some solid economic investing. Yeah, why not? Have a happiness building and a chapter school. Critical. And they are still. Yeah, I am still recruiting for that army. Good. Okay, I think it's time to intern. So let's see what happens with these guys. They need to hold off for three turns. 
Then I'll have my walls. Then they can attack as much as they want. Uh, here comes the recruits from Holster, the American army. Oh, Crimea still being Crimea. God, see, I want to have armies everywhere. I have armies pushing the Middle East. I want to push up Italy. I want to push up Greece. Things need to spread my navies, spread my navies more into the into the uh, the Mediterranean and start to bottle up the Italian states so they can't actually go anywhere and cause much problems. Ooh, Crimea's laying siege to, or blockading an Ottoman port. That is delicious. Sorry, Denmark. I'm going to knock you out. That's what's going to happen. I need to do it eventually. Go all the way up to Iceland and capture you. Okay, the Prussians. Okay, so they're bunching all their depleted armies together. Makes sense. Assuming they don't have the money to fix them. Tell you what, dropping that stack off at Berlin could have been a major strategic blunder. We'll see what happens. Okay, they've merged to form a stack. They've gone south. I need to get close enough to hold to have my uh, action of influence within the radius of that bridge. There you go, full and stack, but probably fairly depleted. Oh, come on, wander just a bit closer. Just close enough to my fort. Not great any more than that, because that class of fort is super easy to defend. Mm. Incrementally moving in. Trouble is, I'm fairly sure I'm reinforcing faster than they can. Oh, that's good. Well, I say good. What they're doing now is what can break the game. <laughs> But hey, if they take their time, it means I get more get more leeway, get more breathing space. I can push up and open up a second front. God, it's like the central powers all over again. You've got it's the Germans and the, the Turks all over again, with America storming in to capture everything. good more Russian intervention always a good thing in this game maybe not IRL Spain's falling back I'm fairly sure that Maratha stack in Gibraltar the main reason why it's not moving is because it knows it can't if it leaves it has, to, it has to attack Gibraltar and there's no ships nearby to save it so <laughs> it's between a rock and a hard cache for farming. Boston missionary in Morocco. Excellent. I'm going to send you over to Algiers to start trying to fight off against these Spanish missionaries because Morocco is pretty good. Yep. Rifle cannons. Okay, so artillery fort. Oh, good. It just became an artillery fort. Whew. Okay, iron workshops. Upgrade. Governor's residence upgrade. Good major fishery car warehouse clearances. Upgrade the church school. More Greek clearances. Iron workshop. Upgrade the polit political buildings in Tunisia. Why am I recruiting another unit of artillery? Really what I want is... Or do I want... Oh no, it's not giving me a choice. 
Oh, because it's a main building, that's why. Um, pretty sure I want that. Not sure where I'm going to send it. Not sure I want to land in Italy at the minute. Not against... So this is all a line that all has fire by rank and backed up with good artillery and... Structures being upgraded. Right, Spanish stack. You go over here and assault Jerusalem. Fingers crossed there's not a huge stack here. But we'll soon find out. Ah, bits and pe oh, there's there's the stack. Rashid Mamed Pasha and Dervish Mutmar. Okay, if I take this army and move them out. Granted, they're weak, but they'll be able to reinforce. Well, they're not so weak. Eh, not so bad. And then this army... Well... Jerusalem's okay. Yeah, Cairo's okay, rather. Religious, political, religious unrest is going down. This army is... Well, let's just recruit in the capital for now. Sakers? Oh. Because they broke everything. That's why. Uh, I can recruit grenadiers. Oh. Laggy. Right. Come on. Oh, that means recruiting solid. Recruit General's bodyguard. Make sure everything up here is ticking along nicely. Good. This army's ready to rock and roll. Let's take. First, let's fix you. Ooh, this is a bit of a weak, weak fleet. So this is my door knocker fleet. Door knocker um, army, that is. I think what I'm going to do is send this door knocker fleet down here to, to support this army in Brandenburg. If I can get them in, smash through the door. No, they they force me to make the attack. Okay. How about over here. Open up another front on the east. Undefended as well. Well, largely. Then let's go and sit outside this port. There was no point. Um, hmm. Can't really do anything else. Come back. Come back and be ready to transport the next army, I suppose. That's probably the next step. Um, I'm looking at, the, looking at the clock. Looks like we've reached the end of this part, so I've managed to fight off the... Fight off the uh, the Ottomans in Cairo, and I'm still kind of preparing for the square off against. <laughs> oh no, you go in. Um, preparing for the square off against the Prussians. Sir. 
Okay, let's put this line unit. Anyone missing a unit entirely? You are. And you're missing your general as well. Yeah, this unit of artillery can go join them. They're replenishing. Okay, let's take this stack and plonk them there. So the zone covers the bridge. What's this army like? My agent should be should be able to see what it's like, I think. I'm gonna push in. So if I move them here, I move them there. No, nope. I was wondering to, I was wondering to see if they would force me to attack. I'm gonna attack them anyway, but I wanted you know, maximum firepower. There you go. Yeah, this is an army that's more or less designed to sit in that fort. <laughs> and against... Like I said, they will blow holes in my walls, and that's okay. At the ready. Might move them up here. Forward. So they're within range to respond to the, to the, um, to the fort. Right, I'm going to push in yes. here. Yeah, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.